So we're here across the street in a warehouse at Motor City Brewing Works, and this is where we have our cooler, we store all our beer, and uh, this is the baby that makes it all happen. You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, I'm thinking what you're thinking. Oh. Shannon and I's evil plans aside, Pure Brews is happy to be back in Detroit. Our show's very first episode shoot was at Water, and now we are wrapping up season two at Motor City Brewing Works, a craft brewery with a blend of history, flavor, and love for music and community that is the perfect reflection of this city. We went from uh, 95 to 2001, and we did not have a tap room. And 2001 is when we added the tap room. And in those days, it was very local centric. I mean, it was just the neighborhood would come in. And I'd say the last three or four years, we have definitely become a destination spot for out-of-towners coming into Detroit, wanting to check out the, uh, you know, the, the spaces. I just know it's a great place to come to, man. I can always jump in, get a good pizza. Pizzas are great. People are great. Sit at the bar, you know, mess with people, mess with Zach and Scott on the daytime all day long. And it's nice. It's just a nice place. It's set back, so it's easy to miss. So I think that's why it is sort of a haunt of the neighbors. Yeah. We're really big in our backyard in Detroit proper. Um, I, I live here, I've lived in this neighborhood between this neighborhood and downtown for 30 years. We're residents, you know, these are truly our neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Detroit's a very community oriented place. A very uh, old saying that Detroit's the biggest small town, and one of the biggest small towns, and that's, it's, it's true. The brewery's been here forever, so it, it almost feels like it's carved into the neighborhood. It's not like we just set up shop here and it's a business. Um, I mean, we live here. So uh, all of the things that come connected with the community is, you know, we're a part of that. So we participate. What are some things that your customers tell you about your beers that really stick with you or make you proud of what you do? Oh, when they say it's good. <laughs> it's good enough for me, really. I don't, you know, it's, that's great. <laughs> this beer tastes awesome. Fantastic. Done. And really, it's, it's kind of that simple. We just we want to make a, a really clean beer. I'm not one of those people that like to freak people out. So if somebody takes a sip of beer and they get this quizzical look on their face or they're like, oh, that's very interesting, I don't like to hear that. And I just like to hear, oh, this tastes awesome. I'll have another. The beer review is great, man. They got a lot of different good beers on tap. I'm actually had a cider beer right now. And a they got some good stouts on draft, the good, good lagers on draft, so they got a nice selection going. The beer that Motor City is best known for is Ghetto Blaster, a mild ale that aligns itself with the Detroit music scene, and because of that, it's known as the beer that you can hear. Ghetto Blaster is actually one of our oldest flavors. It'll be 20 years old uh, next year. We introduced that in 1997. Uh, really, it was uh, an attempt on my part to just reconcile the two worlds I was in at the time. I had a recording studio downtown, and we were getting the brewery started. So I was just looking a way to, to marriage the two ideas. He was trying to find like a, a beer that was different at the time. And you only had so many malt choices and hop choices 20 years ago. So he was using the newest malts that he could get at the time from the maltsters that were released. So it's a really biscuity kind of flavor malt because that was something new on the market at that time. And he was trying to make a, you know, a session type of beer that was easy to drink. And so he settled on this English style mild because it was this obscure kind of beer style that no one knew about. You know, everyone was still making IPAs and pale ales, but you know, it was just something new and different that he was exploring. And we were kicking around fun ideas uh, at Ameson Studio, and that came, that name just stood out super easy. A Detroit style mild. I love, not an English mild, this is a Detroit mild. Very cool. This beer's been around long enough to own that name, I think. Yep, yeah, the whole, about 22 years. <laughs> beer's almost as old as I am. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> it has a good taste. It's almost like a little nutty taste to it, and um, nice color, so it's a lot of fun. Thanks to their friends at Brew Detroit, Motor City's been able to increase production of Ghetto Blaster while freeing up tank space to produce a number of other fantastic beers. Uh, right now, Oktoberfest, because it's the big boomba. You know, you gotta have a big boomba, but uh, La Rouge, man, Amber Beer, Gigawatts, IPAs, Nut Blaster, Nut Brown, Ghetto Blaster, all my favorites. What's up first? That's gonna be the Motown Lager. It's just a nice, light, crisp, bohemian style lager. I could drink this all day long and night long, and then very the easy too. drinking, lawn style beer. <laughs> Literally the most refreshing beer. What should we try next? Let's do your honey porter. All right. 
So this is your favorite. One of my favorites. <laughs> It's very it. easy drinking. I, I like them all. <laughs> it's gonna have a nice aroma. It's gonna have a nice dark uh, oh, yeah. malts to it. So you get a little yeah, bit exactly of coffee. That, that chocolate got, uh, roastiness right on the nose. Chocolate roasting. It's got that little. Uh, I am a fan of the dark beers, so I have the honey porter. I don't know. A lot of porters sometimes are a little heavier. This one's pretty, pretty mellow, pretty light, but it has a nice full body to it still. It is really good. I really, that's my first time having it, but I really liked it. And what's last? What are we going to try IPA. Next? Everyone's got an IPA. Everyone yeah. loves yeah. the IPA. Yeah. It has uh, Simcoe Warrior Columbus hops in it. Sure smells yummy. Well, well rounded. Those hops aren't making your eyes bleed. But they're, they're not they're overly there. hopped. It's very easy, very nice. Well, you guys definitely know how to balance your beers here, how to keep them somewhat sessionable and just good, refreshing beers. Cheers. <clears throat> to get the beer to the people, you've got to get it into the kegs properly. So Charlie took me into the cold room to show me how it's done. What are we doing? Um, I'm kegging some lager, basically. I gotta make sure I have top pressure so I don't implode the tank or just not get beer. That would be awkward. That would suck. That'd be very expensive. Just gotta open it up. Dump a little for my homies. Good deal. To my turn. Office. Yeah. All right. All right, just put it on and Put her on there, Dad. I surprisingly really haven't tapped any kegs, so this could get. All right, make sure the handle's up. Up, then turn. Turn it in there, then put the handle down to lock it in. Ooh. Uh, then open the back. This one? Yeah, just a little, like halfway, until it starts to hiss. Oh, hissing. Beautiful. Like a pro. I had the best teacher ever. The immediate future is Brew Detroit is really a relatively new thing for us. So putting Ghetto Blaster into cans, this is the first year for that. We are also opening a second tap room location here in the city again, over by Palmer Park. So we're hoping to have that satellite facility up and running by uh, the fall of 2017. So we've got, we've got plenty to work on. <laughs> Our time has come to an end at Motor City Brewing Works, but remember how Dan was showing us that storage facility across the street? Yeah, about that. Hey, I have to run across the street to uh, check on something. I'll see you in a bit. All right, see you, Dan. Can you drive this thing? I'll give it a try. Good enough for me. Let's go. We want to thank you for coming along for the ride with us this season on Pure Brews. Head to our Facebook page for episodes and bloopers and check out purebrewsamerica.com for updates on season three. Cheers to that. <laughs>